Hey guys, it's Dustin the Pro Picker here with a bunch of my recent thrifting, some of it with my wife Jess. This is over a period of probably a week and a half or so. So let's see what I find at my local thrift stores. I do pass on this Apple mug. This little plastic one didn't have a lot of value to it. I do get this Folk Manus here and it is a hand puppet for, I think I paid $3.99 is what that just said. This cyber shot is act actually like one of the good ones. And you can always check the model number on the bottom there. Basically anything Sony always has a model number that's easy to look up. And even without the power cable, we're looking at 40 plus ship there. And I'm paying $1.99. But what comes up next is what really blows me away here, guys. This little small innocuous stick here. So this is by, I think it's the company is called Mage. Oh, it's Mage Well. As you can see, really scripted here. Worth $75 pre-owned, guys. $1.99 on this little USB adapter deal. It is crazy. A little capture card thing. While waiting for an estate sale to start, we stopped off at another Goodwill and ended up picking up these Doc Martens. They were youth. We only paid like $3 for them. That's not an exact comp, but we should get somewhere in the $30 to $40 range. So not too bad. Just did end up passing on that snow globe. Could have been profitable though. And here we are. I'm checking these guys out and they're pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I really wanted to pick them up. It is missing one of them though, the Goji prints. So I decided to not put them back. I handed them off to another flipper that has an antique booth that should be able to sell it a little bit easier. On the next door here, this is a Griswold actually. So I'm thinking probably like 40, 50 for the one in my left hand there. The smaller one we ended up leaving behind I do pick up these winter walking spikes for your boots. They were pretty cheap. I want to say they were like $1.99 or $2.99. We do end up picking up this Lee Max. I forget what we paid for it. Maybe it was like five bucks. I don't have an exact comp on it. This is really cool, guys. So this Space Maker radio, it's actually brand new in the box. You can't make this up. Look, it even has the little, like, where the numbers are printed on it with the little plastic on it. Really cool. Definitely going to pick that up for $7.99. I do pick up that Bath & Body Works candle holder there. I want to say it was $1.99. This is a vacuum sealer, and I feel like it's commercial. I do end up picking that up. At this next store, I do check out this Wii to see what game's actually inside it. They had it marked for $34.99. Unfortunately, Zelda Twilight Princess's disc only isn't really that insane. It's not a super high value game. And I decided at $34.99, I just didn't really want to mess with it. It was a good deal, so somebody else eventually did end up buying it. I do pick up that Ninja Blender I showed you on the screen there. And here on this separate trip as well, I only make one pickup. It's that glove, but this is incredible, guys. Hey guys, so ended up getting these guitars here. And yeah, they were $9.99 a piece, so we definitely paid up on them. Hopefully they all work. I think this guitar's somewhere in the $100 range right here. Of course, it's in the back. Pick that up. And then I think the other ones are around the $50, $60 range. They're all Xbox 360 guitars, but definitely really cool to pick up four of them for 40 bucks. Picked up this football and just swore she had a comp and then we couldn't find the comp afterwards. I did get that Black Panther Linux piece. I don't know how long it'll take to sell though. We also picked up this Dokken Owl and we do get that Pixinary Junior that you see in the card as well. It was brand new sealed. So not a terrible little trip actually. Forgive the dirt. 
she just tested a reel to reel that was old on the surface. Yeah, we have the Nutra Ninja here. That's not bad for $7.99. It is pre-owned in the box. Then we ended up with these Minecraft blocks here. And for $6.99, I think we'll do okay on them. There's quite a bit of them in there. We ended up with these three dinosaurs and I think they were like 99 cents, 199, 199 kind of thing. And this one right here is a Popo and should be able to get somewhere in the $25, $30 range. Then maybe like 15, 20 on this one, uh, this T-Rex here. You barely hear it, it's kind of faint. And then I did not notice this. I think we only paid 99 cents for this Raptor, but he is missing some talons. <laughs> yeah, he's missing some talons there. So I don't think it's gonna be worth too much. All right, so we've got a pretty full cart on this trip so far, just kind of checking out everything. We do go and sort through it. We don't get necessarily everything we had in the cart initially, but yeah, these are incredible. Gotta love picking up Ikea curtains like this. And just found this turntable and shark. All right, guys, just grab this Stanton turntable here. Should be a little over a hundred plus shipping there. $14.99 on it and it does work. So that's great. Got this shark here. I think it's only gonna be like 22 bucks shipped. Probably could have passed, but $2.99, we'll make money. Got the Sensies here. These both are brand new, guys. So $4.99 a piece on that. Elegant and champagne. And then off to the side there was this awesome curtain score. They're Ikea Vilborgs here. And at $4.99 a piece, definitely good to go. Could get anywhere from 50 to 75 or more on each of these because they're two curtains per package. So that's just awesome. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the finds in today's video. So just a little, I guess, disclaimer, this isn't like one day of thrifting. I'm going to multiple stores, the same stores often, just over and over again throughout maybe a two week period, something like that. And so it's kind of curated, but we definitely made some pretty awesome finds. I'm really happy with how everything went. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification. I would greatly appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.